this, which is the iOS 10.3.1 iPhone 7 jailbreak, uh, and it was demoed on the scene, as you can see from here, at the Janus conference, according to the uh, banner in here, and as you can see from Spark's photos, uh, it was actually a mobile security and threat intelligence platform release. Then uh, it was also presenting here, you can uh, you can see, but the important fact is that this is a real legit jailbreak. I know a lot of people are talking about it right now, but who the hell wouldn't? Because it's the first time we hear about Pangu jailbreaking something in a very long while. And... Um, According to the uh, screenshot in here, the application is pretty much simple. If you ask me, by the looks of it, it looks like a, like a tethered jailbreak or semi-tethered jailbreak, like the Yalu, because it's starting from an application. But Pangu is very smart and I know that they probably can uh, at some point untether this if they have the right exploits at hand. So well, well, what is important about this? Well, the important factor is that it's a uh, demo jailbreak, not a released one yet, and there are rumors that actually say Pangu is going to jailbreak or is actually going to release this jailbreak the next week. I personally do not believe them and I personally wait for Pangu. Pangu did not actually say they're going to release anything. Um, therefore, I would definitely wait for Pangu to say something publicly. But the simple fact that a jailbreak exists for the iOS 10.3 and the iPhone 7, keep in mind the Yalu wasn't able to jailbreak iOS 10.2 on the iPhone 7 due to the KPP bypass missing. And um, the KPP, meaning the kernel patch protection, apparently has been, uh, has, hasn't been a problem for Pangu. Well, what, it, what is important is that we already demoed, the, as you can see from this image in here, only, um, it only resembles the, uh, the previous one of uh, Pangu break will look like because of the screenshot in here that is gone viral. Now, um, the problem is that uh, this guy in here, Mason, has created a, an IPA, a fake IPA, just as a proof of concept, do not get me wrong, he's not trying to fool anybody, it's just proof of concept, in which he shows how easily can somebody create a uh, fake Pangu IPA just to fool people around and Believe me or not, this can easily be backed up as a malware and uh, to look, of course, like Pangu's jailbreak. They can also create a jailbreak that is actually uh, Yalu at its essence, but it looks like Pangu. It has this interface in here, but of course created for maliciously um, crafted purposes. So please make sure you're, you're not installing any leaked IPAs. There have been a couple of them in the, in the past days and, of course, um, because of because of the fact that Pangu released the uh, information about their interface, there are probably going to be more. And as you can see, his um, a proof of concept in here just says don't fall for leaked IPAs. But um, a malware IPA might not be that nice with you uh, next time. So make sure you're not actually installing those fake IPAs. Pangu hasn't released anything yet, J they just demoed it, and therefore you should not trust anything. We discussed in the their tool. So, do not expect a release for the moment. Nobody say they're going to release it except the fakers. And therefore, you should not believe something like, I don't know, they're going to release it in two weeks or they're going to release it in one week. Let's just wait for Pangu to do their job. Uh, at some point on the channel, if I think, if I sense something happening, I'm going to tell you to update to 10.3.1. But uh, for the moment, do not update. A lot of people are asking me, should I update? I'm on 10.2.1 or I'm on 10.2 or 10.3. Should I update? Uh, yes, you should update if you're on 10.3, because, yeah, I don't think that, um, but, I, but uh, if, you, if you keep in mind, iOS 10.3 and 10.3.1 are both uh, supported, as far as I know. But yes, it's safe if you're on iOS 10.3 to migrate to 10.3.1. But if you're on 10.2.1, do not update for the moment. A lot of people are asking me that, so no, just don't for the moment. Uh, I'm going to tell you on the channel, so make sure to subscribe and activate that bell to actually receive the notification, because I'm going to tell you uh, to do so, but I'm going to do that when I sense something or when the iOS 10.3.1 becomes in danger of being unsigned. So make sure you get that notification is going to mean the... Um, the jailbreak or not jailbreak for your device. So keep that in mind. And for the moment, the current news, to, to reiterate them and to recap them at the end of this video, Pangu has demoed a jailbreak for iOS 10.3.1. We're 100% sure it's legit. They're going to also be at Mosaic, so probably they're going to either um, 
demo that in depth if, if they're not going to release it soon or probably they're going to uh, present more information about it in other conferences. Then an important factor is to save your blobs. A lot of people do not know how to save them so I made a video and it's available in the description down below. Saving the blobs allow you to downgrade in the future and that's, that is going to be very important. And the second, uh, sorry, and the third and the most important thing Fake IPAs with the uh, supposed Pangu jailbreak have appeared and therefore you should be very careful on what are you installing. For the moment Pangu hasn't released any IPA and therefore you should not install anything that claims to be the Pangu jailbreak, as it's not. Till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I will keep you updated on anything that happens. As you can see, from a week to another everything changes and therefore we need to stay updated. I'm Geosnow, stay safe and peace out.